Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Tally. If you are new to this channel, today I wanted to do a reading vlog, I'm reading two books that I have been on my TBR for the longest. And since the movie is coming out on Thursday, November 8th, actually Friday, November 8th, I finally went to Barnes and Noble and was able to purchase them. So I'm very excited. Hopefully I'm able to finish reading them by Friday when the movie comes out. I will be reading The Shining by Stephen King and Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. So this is the sequel of The Shining and I have watched The Shining, the movie already. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy it. Actually have never read The Shining before but it has been on my TBR for the longest. Basically if you don't exactly know what The Shining is about, it's very scary. Jack Torrance, which he is the character in the story, he takes a new job at the Overlook Hotel. And with this new job he's gonna spend more time with his family and have more time with his writing. Then the location starts feeling more sinister and very weird. And the only person who starts noticing strange and terrible things in this hotel is unfortunately Danny Torrance, which is a five-year-old. If you have watched The Shining, you know how freaking scary it is. I'm very excited to read it. It's actually going to be more scary that I'm going to read it like in midnight, at midnight. So I'm going to try my hardest to turn on all the lights. So, Doctor Sleep is the second book to The Shining, so it's a sequel to The Shining. Doctor Sleep is following Dan Torrance, who is a five-year-old who was mentioned in The Shining. He is now a man and he now comforts the dying at a nursing home and he is called Doctor Sleep. He then meets a 12-year-old named Abra Stone who has a gift as well. This 12-year-old pulls Dan into an epic war with um, an otherworldly tribe. I'm really excited to read these two for this week. Hopefully I'm able to finish reading them by Friday. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys throughout the video. Hi everyone, so today is Tuesday and it's currently 2.04 p.m. and I haven't actually started reading The Shining because I'm currently reading When I'm Gone by Emily Bleeker and wow, I am on a part that's very hard to read and it's very emotional. There's just like a lot of problems in this book and I can't wait to be done so I could start reading The Shining. Hi everyone, it's currently 11 p.m. and today I was actually finishing up a book that I started reading like on Sunday and I barely finished reading it right now. I am on page 6 of The Shining. I just didn't want to leave the book that I started reading just abandoned. I hate when I do that with my books. Like when I start reading something, I want to finish like reading it. I don't, I don't like leaving it just like there without me finishing reading it first. But I am going to sit down now and I'm gonna keep on reading The Shining. So far, Jack Torrance, he is being interviewed for the job at the hotel. And the owner is just taking him through every um, section of the hotel. And there are 40 rooms, 30 doubles and 10 singles. And just taking him through the lo the lobby levels, the attics, and that's where I left off. So I'm going to go make myself some coffee, and I'm just going to read for maybe two hours. Maybe go to sleep at one, because I have no life, and reading is life. <laughs> okay, peace. <laughs> okay, so it's currently 11.25. I'm going to get a little bit of iced coffee. I'm not going to fill it up a lot because I am trying to sleep in a couple hours. This just looks like a cup of whiskey or something.
everyone so it is now Wednesday now I haven't been able to film all day today because I have been doing job applications I am looking for a new job and um, I have I actually got three interviews for tomorrow so I'm trying to prepare for that and I also need to catch up on my reading as well but it is now 8 33 p.m. It is Wednesday night and I came home around 6.30 p.m. Actually 6.50, it was going to be 7 o'clock. But I had dinner, I read a little bit of The Shiny. I was doing like a process of like an interview that I have for tomorrow and I was printing out like my resume and my transcripts and stuff like that. So I have to get that situated before I even like wash my face and start reading. So wish me luck guys. I did read on my breaks and when I got home I read for like I read for around 10 minutes. Last night I went to sleep around 2 a.m. and I did read I think about two chapters and um, I ended up on chapter 8 of The Shining and so far um, and The Shining I have been introduced to several characters from the story which is Jack, um, Wendy, and Danny Torrance. They're all a family and Danny is Wendy's and Jack's son. So Danny, he sees things and he he sees a ghost named Tony and he has visions. It's very creepy. So the story is introduced with Jack. He got fired from his previous job because of a, a student and he, Al, who is his friend, he recommended him for a job at the hotel and he got the job so that's how it's introduced and then it goes towards explaining a little bit of Jack's life his alcoholic life because he's an alcoholic there are times where he just can't control his temper and he has hurt his son several times like one time when he came home like really drunk he dropped Danny on the floor when he was a baby and that's what led Wendy, her, his wife, to divorce. And then one night, Al and Jack were out, and Al was drinking and driving, and then and they ran over this bike. They thought they had run over someone, like a someone on the bike, and that's when they changed completely. They told each other that they were not going to drink ever again. And Wendy sees this, and Danny, their son, he sees a vision. He he said he has a dream where Jack was in an accident. Jack denies it, and after that, he starts he stops drinking absolutely. And Wendy decides to just like forget about the divorce. I cannot wait to read a little bit more about it and I can't wait until they actually move to the hotel because I feel like that's when the spooky things are going to start happening but um yeah I'm very excited so right now um, I I have my coffee brewing and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill out a come on I'm just going to fill out a couple of pages for my interview tomorrow and then I'm just going to sit down and read for the rest of the night. Hopefully I'm able to hopefully I'm able to read more than I read today and last night. Hey guys, good morning. So today is Thursday. I was about to say third of Friday, but this week has been like the longest. I just want this week to be over. But um, today is Thursday, unfortunately, still. But it's payday and I'm so excited. But um, it's currently 12.02 p.m. This morning I woke up like super early because I had an interview at 11. So um, I just got done with the interview and I think it went pretty well. They said they would call me if after the screening. Didn't give me like a response right away, but they said that they would call me if I got the job. Um, I feel pretty confident. I, I've been applying like everywhere and I had like four interviews this week. I had to turn one down because of the time lapse 
the time overlapped. So um, I'm pretty confident with this job and hopefully I do get it because I do want to get a new job and I just want to get a job where I don't have to drive all the time. Um, last night, I was able to read some of The Shining. Actually a lot, I'm very happy with how much reading I got done. I am on I am on part three. I'm on chapter 14 of The Shining. It is getting very freaking intense. Um, the family, the Torrance family, they have finally moved into the hotel and everyone left. That made me have like a big um, emptiness on my stomach. Like what the hell is gonna happen next? I feel like this is, has been one of the scariest books that I have read from Stephen King. I think it's gonna be even scarier when I get to the middle of the part of the of the book. On the few chapters that I have read, it's scary. I am doing some annotations as you guys can see on here. Now, since I don't have to go to work until like 3.30 and it's barely 12, I'm just gonna go walking around this shopping center here in Corona. It's called Dos Lagos and it looks super cute. I'm just gonna grab a bite to eat. Hopefully I can find something and I did wear heels today so I'm gonna change them into my sneakers and just walk around and maybe sit down somewhere in a coffee shop and read more of The Shining. I'm back. Today is definitely the wrong day to wear a turtleneck. I was not expecting it to be this hot today. So, it is now 1.54 p.m. I did a lot of reading, actually. I am now on page... page 199 so I'm on chapter 17 it is called the doctor's office I'm in the part where Jack put in a wasp nest inside Danny's room Danny was sleeping the wasps came back to life out of nowhere Jack had said that he had killed all of them but for some reason they came back alive and they stung Danny the five-year-old um, 11 times I'm going to drive to my work and we'll see you guys later All right, peace out. So it is now 9.25 p.m. It's still a Thursday and I came back from work around 6.30 p.m. and I've been trying to read some of The Shining on my free time so instead of like grabbing my phone I grab my book to read and I've done a lot of progress on The Shining. I am currently on page, let's see, I'm currently on page 300 and I'm on chapter 23 which is called In the Playground. If you have read The Shining, it got a little bit boring in the middle because Jack, he is going through like a scrapbook that he found in the attic, in the basement, and he's just going through all the information that the scrapbook had and like the history of the hotel. And it's kind of boring, but at the same time very interesting because in order for you to understand what happened in the hotel, you need to know its history. And he wants to write a book about the history in the hotel since there has been like murders there. But right now I'm just going to drink some coffee and I'm going to try to finish like maybe 200 pages if that's possible. I plan on going to sleep around like 12 or 11 p.m. because I do have to wake up early tomorrow.
right now 10 40 p.m and i have been reading the shining for the last couple of hours and i think i'm gonna read a little bit more and then i'm gonna go to sleep but um i read all the way to chapter 25 i am currently on page 311 and right now jack is having some hallucinations and they are starting to creep me out um right now it's talking a little bit more about jack torrens and how he he needs a drink poor guy but um that's pretty much all probably gonna um read for like 20 to 30 minutes more and then i'm going to sleep but i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> good morning guys today is friday it is currently 11 35 a.m um this morning i woke up very early around 5 a.m because i had to take my brother to the doctor but i came back around 9 a.m and i have been reading the shining i have done a lot of progress in it i'm like in the last few pages i think um, I have like maybe around 200 pages left. So I'm on chapter 33 and I'm on page 405. When I was at the doctor, I was reading a lot. So I had like an hour there and I was just like reading. And then I came back and I read while drinking my coffee and eating my oatmeal. But right now I'm just going to start cleaning and I'm watching Atypical. It just came out. The new season just came out and it's so good. Um... Hopefully, I am able to finish The Shining by this afternoon so I can start the Doctor Sleep. I am planning on watching Doctor Sleep, the new movie, um, in theaters this Sunday. It came out today, but I'm going on Sunday because it's cheaper. It's Friday. It's my day off. I'm going to enjoy The Shining and maybe go to Michael's this afternoon so I can get a little bit of like decorations for my November bullet journal and also for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing for my bookstagram. So if you don't follow me yet, I will put the link down here so you guys can follow me. I will be doing a giveaway very soon and I'm very excited for that. The reason I'm doing a giveaway is because I reached 300 followers and I'm very happy. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the ones who um, like my feed every single day and show your genuine support every single day. So giveaway coming soon and yeah i'll see you guys later It is 8.59 p.m. It is a Saturday night. I have not filmed anything today because I just don't want to film the same thing like every single day for this vlog. But um, I have done a lot of progress with The Shining and I 
have 60 more pages to be done with it and it is freaking like <laughs> intense it's like giving me anxiety i'm just like thinking like is jack really gonna kill his wife and danny what's gonna happen is the cook really gonna get to the overlook hotel so that's what i'm wondering right now and i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys i'm not gonna tell you what happened i am on page 600 of the shining i'm really liking the story i think it's one of the scariest books that i have read by by king and i absolutely love it i am brewing some coffee but yesterday i went to target and today i went to marshall's and i've been trying to look for some markers um for my dotted journal and i found a couple and i found two sets of different markers and i also bought some sticky notes for my books and these ones i got them from aliexpress they don't stick that well and they they tend to fall a lot so i'm not a big fan of these so that's why i went to target and bought these sticky notes which are way better and i am doing such a different way of annotating my books changed it completely because i don't want to spend so much time annotating my books and now instead of like annotating and writing on it i'm just like putting sticky notes for like different sections i am almost done with it i am currently and i i'm on page 600 chapter 52 so i need 60 more pages to be done with it yay well, the markers that i got yesterday i got these little detail doodlers at marshall's they were only 4.99 so i'm gonna open them really fast if i can open it there ta-da and this is how they look let's look at the black marker so ooh, oh my gosh yes and this is the point even better this is exactly what i was looking for and i also got i also got these crayola markers i also ordered like a pen organizer for my table i'm gonna finish the last few pages of the shining i'm very excited Hey guys, so 10.31, I am on page 6.58, I am on the last page of The Shining, let me just finish this. finally done good book and it's super deeply annotated yay what are my thoughts hmm I feel like it's a very good story that I loved all the characters I feel like it's a very good horror story and I really enjoyed reading the book it was very fast-paced and I really enjoyed it okay, so for the rest of the night, I'm just going to be working on my dotted journal while watching The Shining. I'm missing out on King's beautiful horror story. It took me like four, five days. Not that bad. But I'm going to begin reading Dr. Sleep. I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly, this week 
this reading vlog of me reading The Shining. I did not start Doctor Sleep because it took me longer than expected. And if you're barely starting to read like Stephen King and barely starting to read his stories, I think this is a perfect book for you to start with. It's a very good horror story and um, it's one of his best books, that I, I have to say, um, after Carrie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today and sorry that it's uploaded very late but i hope you guys have a great weekend and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching bye